China diggers. Great tires, dude, would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this thing doing back in here? You guys- it already had its own video, man, like Rick frickin' took over the channel with this thing. Yeah, you guys probably remember that we said in the past when we were working on this truck that the purpose for this truck would become clear very soon. Why is it here? What is it doing? You know, all great questions. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> we got invited to be part of Cletus McFarland's burnout rivals this coming weekend. Boom. So, typically, you get asked to be in a burnout contest. Normally, what we would do, we would take 2JP. That's the play going forward. It's not quite ready yet. We've been gone a lot. She's not gonna be ready for this weekend. Time is tight. So, this is This is Monday. The event is Saturday. We're in Michigan, it's in Florida. Do the math. Right, we have to <laughs> drive there. So we're talking, <laughs> we got about two and a half days to get our rig together, to go down there and win this burnout contest. Not just any rig, not just any rig. This is a rig that hasn't been seen in this function or form before. <laughs> this is burnouts taken to the next level. The next level. And that we've had this plan for a while. It was always the idea to take this truck and build this burnout rig for burnout show. And now is it's time to shine. So I don't know what we do here. Basically, I wish we could just flash to it being done, but that's not the case. We just got to break it. Not. We just got to break the news. Okay, you know the race unit, small block Chevy, big cam, big power, great sounds. <laughs> What else do we have that is maybe not the prettiest thing ever, but it's just badass? Be beast mode? Oh, wait up. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have both of these things. They're both awesome. What happens when you take both of them and put them together <laughs> in the form of a flatbed on the back of the race unit with the CF1, both smoking the tires in Florida, going ham? Dual burnout rig. You've got project burning right is what you've got. <laughs> You're not so wrong. We're out here Monday morning. We're getting ready to put a flatbed on the back of this thing and mount the CF1 on the back of it and just smoke out everybody in multiple ways. <laughs> right. So we'll have the China digger. Well, maybe not these tires, but some sort of form of tire ripping a huge burnout and a CF1 RS1 turbo swap engine on the back burning out as well. Also Double burnout. Burn yeah, so we put the uh, order in from the materials last night. We should be able to pick them up today. We got this thing washed off. We're gonna start grinding the frame down so we can start welding some tube to it. Basically build a rack that we can strap the RS1 to. I think the plan is for me to drive the RS1, the CF1. Rick's gonna drive the race unit and just hopefully nothing but good things happen. <laughs> I haven't been this excited, I don't think ever. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So, I mean, there's a lot of questions at play here. Does the truck make enough power to do a burnout with the CF1 and Doug's FUPA on the back? Who's to say? Good question. Will it do it in Florida in the high heat and high humidity? Who's to say? Can we even haul the thing to Florida with the CF1 on the back? Who's to say? And will the frame break in half in the process? <laughs> will it roll over? I have so many questions. <laughs> Well, Nobody there's, knows. Uh, there's so much stuff to get done though, just in preparation outside of building of this bed in one day. Like we gotta get the oil changed uh, in this thing. We gotta change the spark plug wires. Our friend David gave us some under the header spark plug wires because the ones we have on there are super close to the forward facing headers. Don't wanna be burning that stuff up. Uh, swung over to AutoZone. Oh, check this out. Speaking of swinging over to AutoZone. I like this, <laughs> I like this. So we've got some oil and a filter from AutoZone and anybody that wants to, you know, go ahead and put a motor in a Chevy truck, go ahead and use the PF454 oil filter if you don't have the right adapter to clear the front drive shaft. Take note. <laughs> okay, also, got take it. Note. <laughs> Spark plug looms, okay? Keep these things from burning up your plug wires. These are great. What also is great? <laughs> Freaking Honda Monkey no Hot wheels car dude no. <laughs> said this gotta no. have it dude this thing no. not sure where we're mounting it probably going to the oh car. my gosh it's like we're here in person ah oh, dude okay Oof. monkey's got to come to florida then i yep. think that's what that means too much good stuff happening here the only thing left is to get to work and start burning on project burner right he's right he's right okay so since last time we've seen this you do have some header wrap so you got that going for you heck yeah haven't melted the battery yet, the used battery from AutoZone, so that's good. It seems to be doing its job. We had our friends uh, 
Matt and DK out here doing a little bit of work in preparation for this. So we got a little bit better uh, breather situation on this valve cover. If you remember, it was puking out oil when we were going over Ghoul Hill. Would rather not catch this on fire. Also, they pulled the carb off of it. Found a bad power valve. You might have noticed that it was kind of spitting and sputtering down low the last time we had it out. Talked to Doug this morning. Said she's running crisp. So I think we're good there. Yeah, a lot of stuff happening. Wow. So I think besides getting, you know, another thing we're going to do is some brake mods to this thing, right? Oh, yeah. So simple, simple deal, but that's another thing on the list is we just need to get the rear brakes out of the equation. So we're probably just going to cap those suckers right off so he can stand on the pedal and lock the front end up, really help us with the burnouts, with the donuts, all that good stuff. Smart. So yeah, a lot of little, a lot of little things to tackle here. I think I'm going to jump on cleaning up the frame so we can start welding and then uh, maybe Rick will start up here. By the end of the day, we'll have the winning burnout rig for burnout rivals. Oh yeah, Mother Nature also jumped in and decided she wanted to destroy the tractor flap I just put on this, so that's cool. <laughs> Friggin' tack weld that I don't know who put on this thing, it's basically garbage, so probably put some sick beads on this so we don't have any issues <laughs> when we're driving 88 miles an hour, not really down to Florida. Yeah, it's be not time. really, dude. Doug's a 95sman. <laughs> oh, we're gonna rip. rip. <laughs> Alright, let's get this done, boys. <laughs> A little longer than a few minutes later. Spent a little bit of time, Rick. What happened? Well, in this time, if you've been away, got some fresh David plug wires on here with some AutoZone sleeves on there. Looking crisp. They got numbers on there so you can tell which uh, plug wire goes to which cylinder. If you don't know the small block Chevy firing order, which I do, but if you don't, now you know. One um, eight five. Nope. One eight seven. Nope. One eight two. No. One eighth. No. Do you know it, Doug? I'm not a Chevy's man. No. Give it a guess. He's guessed basically every other number. Nope. <laughs> one eight seven. One eight four three six five seven two. Anyway, let's <laughs> say your phone number. <laughs> Call Rick Hassan right now, dude. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and change the oil on this. Doug just made a fresh run to TSC. What we yeah, get? Basically, the nicest fenders you could ever ask for. For a burnout truck. I mean, these are better than the box that came off it. You're not wrong. There's I less know. rust on those, I guarantee that. <laughs> so what's the plan with the fenders? Let's go take a look at that. I'm kind of curious. Uh, basically, the plan is to put them on because Got I don't it. want chunks of rubber flying at my face. So so full fender or like half fender? These fenders that I'm holding right here. <laughs> I'm just going to go. Oh, I see. Pretty simple plan. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so They'll yeah. fit better once we get the burner tires on there. I think we're going to go with some 245-75 R16s. Okay. 31.5 for those of you who don't know the metric system. <laughs> super old, super old shot out there. Uh, okay. Well, that'd be cool. So yeah, Steel Place is working on our steel order right now. So hopefully here within the next half hour we can run over there and pick the stuff up for the bed and get cranking on all this crap. Sweet. We're back. With Doug's Lincoln log set. It's the Doug version of a Lincoln log set. Heck yeah, dude. So what is all this? Uh, this is going to be our burnout platform. Hell yeah. Some of this stuff is extra. I just got a little uh, material in case we needed to make spacers or whatever. But this is going to be a very, very simple, simple thing. So essentially what we have here are... Cross, that looks heavy. Cross members. It's 3 16 wall, so it's not crazy. Didn't want to put thousand pounds on the back of the truck essentially cross members there will be two of them that the front tires will sit on two of them that the rear tires will sit on and then these will just you know be the connectors to kind of tie them together to make the pockets for the tires nice and then uh, we got some steel plate in there that will weld on top for the back tires we got some little hooks that will weld on so we can strap the, the front end down to it and done that's that man what yeah. more do you need should be pretty simple most of the stuff we got pre-cut so it's just throw her together and we did theorize based on a safety perspective uh a driverless rs1 yeah this, there's a potential i think that we could get down there and that they could say hey no you can't you can't do that <laughs> right so, if that's the case we have a backup plan we'll use a piece of string i'll ride shotgun operate the throttle from inside the cab no big deal done but, just put her to the moon hopefully it it'll be fine one it's way or RS1, another man. it's gonna happen you're not wrong so 
All right, here we go. Race unit. Several hours later, we got Mike Reed here. Serious guns. He's got a double QP in him. He's got a cold pop. <laughs> Doug is out here. Look at this thing. Platform is coming together. Okay, so up here, we're going to have the front wheels just sitting in there. Nice little pocket for them. No big deal. In between here, we're going to have some square tubing. Same square tubing you're seeing there. Going to be real sketchy pulling that thing up there. Back here is where all the magic's happening. <laughs> the platform, where the smoke's going to be blazing from. What Honestly, do you think, Doug? it's turning out really good, man. We just threw the plates on, started to weld those suckers down. It's all just straight welded very heavily right to the frame. I don't see too much that could go wrong with this setup, to no, be honest. No, it's, it's looking really good. So how much more do you have to do on this? You just got to burn the rest of it in? or Yeah, I got to burn the rest of these plates, and then I got to uh, finish weld all that stuff up front. And then we gotta get the tires on the RS1 so we can determine the exact width of it for placing the uh, tubes to drive on for loading. And then uh, once those are in, we'll throw the fenders on and the platform will be done, man. Ready to load. Yeah, the plan is to just use the, the ramps off the trailer, so that should be no big deal yeah, getting those to butt up there. Tough. It's not that high, especially once you get a little weight on it. So should you know crawl right up there, no problem. Yeah. I think you said it best, Doug. If it falls in, it falls in. Send it. Yep. It's got four-wheel drive. Yep. We'll get her figured get out. Get it on there one way or another. <laughs> yep. I love sketchy. I love sketchy. Big fan of it, so run it. Okay, Mike Reed says run it. Double QP speaks for itself. Hell yeah. Let's get her going. Early the next morning. Casino chairs, right? We can't show over here yet. Dougie, we Thanks. got something fresh. Things have happened, man. I mean, the burnout deck is pretty much done. Let's look at that first. Okay. So this is what this is. Essentially, we're getting this truck ready for a four-link. Rick's going full, long travel. <laughs> She's there. Listen, we got a couple of uh, tractor supply fenders on there for safety so the rubber's not throwing up at the RS1. We got a couple hooks on the front to strap the front tires down. We got our burnout pads. We got some little ramp hooks so we can drive oh, up here. Oh, genius. Same, you notice that. Basically, ready to start manufacturing these things and selling them. But <laughs> also, this has all been good. There's been a lot of good things on this channel over the years. We're about to win it right now. <laughs> okay, so down here we got the side-by-side -side blog logo. Okay, you guys have seen this before a million times. Great logo, good outline, but then up top we got something a little better. I mean, yeah, you know, the truck's got to have a name. The race unit, you know, it's, it's sort of a name, but, you know, there's been something we've been saying a lot lately, for whatever reason, that just applies so perfectly to this situation that it couldn't not go on the truck for this event. So... <laughs> It's, it's burning. project burning right, dude. You're you take wrong. this, you take the CF1, you get project burning right. Do the math. It's in, <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> is that sticker great for visibility? No. No, but it's I don't have to drive this thing. everything else so. besides the visibility. So how do you not put it on? Right, fact. Well, I guess now <laughs> the only thing I foresee in that is to get the freaking CF1 on the back, huh? Yeah, load that thing up, man, and see what it looks like. I think uh, we might have to do some mods to the fenders once it's got weight on it. I think we're actually going to try to uh, roast this thing with the with the big tires on there. So that wasn't originally the plan, but you know what? We might as well give it a shot, see if it wants to do it. So. Yeah, I mean, if you can burn mutters, you got to burn the mutters. Plus, these are China diggers, which means they're super cheap. <laughs> Probably cheaper than the cheapest tire we could ever buy. Uh, yeah, these were like 500 shipped, I think. Maybe 489 because I found a coupon that I used. Because of <laughs> course. Road, Road One Cavalry MTs. What does that even mean? That's a good tire, man. <laughs> well, uh, I guess now what do we do? Just kind of pull out and yeah, uh, here. done. Maybe get the fork truck ready? Or do you want to try to go up ramps? No, we'll try the ramps. We'll grab the ramps off the aluminum trailer and just see if we can drive up there. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, just practicing the burnouts. Well, it's able to roast them still, so we got that going for us. Can it do it with an RS1 on the back? We'll find out soon. I mean, another what, 1,300 pounds? No big deal. Even weigh that much? I think it weighs about 1,300 plus Doug's FUPA, okay. so. Alright, uh, I won't comment on that, but. What you're seeing here is about to be this thing loaded up for the first time ever. It just has 
Like I thought the vibe inside was great seeing this thing. When you get it out in the open, it feels even better. The it's vibe is increased. Possible. All right, Doug, vibe the heck out of it. <laughs> we might no. Have to take the flag mount off the front. I'm not sure. Ooh, didn't think about that. Will we wash this? Maybe. I don't really know for sure. Should we wash that? Yeah, probably. Should we wash the RS1? We got mixed emotions on that. Yeah. Not something we normally do, so. Oh, look at that. We're good, dude. Oh my gosh, the flag mount goes into the window. <laughs> That's pretty close. That's gonna definitely blow the glass out. All right, so we'll have to pop that off. But other than that. I mean, it's on, buddy. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I anticipated it being. <laughs> look, doesn't it look huge? It looks like the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> You are actually right in the burnout zone with those tires. I didn't really <laughs> compute how close you were gonna be. Oof. It's so much more ridiculous now, seeing it actually up there. Yeah. It's fully ridiculous. All right, Rick, one thing to do. See if he'll do a burnout. Rick, wow. Come on, baby. The goal here, obviously, is to be able to pull high range so we get a lot of wheel speed. Throw it low. You'd call great. It seemed like it was gonna do it. Yeah. A lot of traction. A lot of traction. This is your classic. Let's put a few sandbags in the back of the truck during the winter situation. Try it low! I think the play might be smaller tires, man. Yeah. It's just push it through. Yeah, I guess even in low, it would probably still push through. Unless it somehow, like, shocked the tires. You've just got so much traction. Hmm. Quick mod real quick here. All right. Try again. <laughs> What's that, a four-wheel drive actuator mod? Got it. Right, let's focus on the positive though. That sticker looks great. Oh no, the truck looks beautiful. Come on, come on. Man, this might be a situation where you would almost need to get the truck spinning. Like, whip it. I don't know, that'd be sure. To be honest there, I saw something interesting. If, pushing big time. If he pumps the gas, the front end is gonna come up. Ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, what we're trying to say though is there's a lot of weight in the back of that truck. A lot of weight makes for a lot of traction, really gets a lot of speed going. So. Yeah. Well, Maybe the ticket is just gonna be some small crappy tires, man. Well, what? Yeah. That poor RS1 back there. This is a really good test of the rack, though. A good test of the rack, yeah. Nothing's bending. Things look good there. Okay, so are we going to have to go to smaller tires then? This, the brakes basically just suck on this at the end of the day. I mean, it's a big problem. But it's locking the front tire and pushing the front tire. I mean, yeah. It's, oh, it's blowing through the brakes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really? Pushed, like, you just have so much traction with this much weight on the back. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that. So we need to get some smaller tires. Is it worth mounting up a couple of those junkers your pops fought over? 
to yeah, see if absolutely. it'll even spin them. Yeah, for testers. Yeah, I'm into that. And then also we can probably throw a couple more straps on the RS1. Just make sure it's capable of spinning the tires. <laughs> oh, smart. Deck as well. I you know? don't think that'll be a problem, <laughs> but who's to say really? Uh, oh, Lord. All right, let's mount up some junkers. Back sort of dominating. Okay, we got smaller tires. These are, uh, what are those, 285 75s? These are 225 75. These are off a trailer. These are just burners. These are just junk tires. These are not what we're going to be taking. But if they will turn, that means we then can get tires this size and burn them. Right. This is just a test at this point. Yep. Is tire change going to be enough to get this thing burning with all this weight on here? We'll find out right now. Right now. Still pushing the front tires. Just drug the front. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got the power, but there's just still so much traction with all that weight on the back. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to lessen the traction level. Yep. And that is probably gonna be by putting something down on the ground. Yep. So should we try to see if that will work? And if then if that works, we can rig up something to shoot things on the yeah, ground. Yeah, just throw some water down and try it. And obviously during the burnout, we're gonna need to have it continuously going. I think once you get the tires hot, it'll probably be okay, but still, assuming water will work, we're gonna need some sort of sprayer system. So if we need a little extra help, you know, we can get it. Maybe do you just hang out the side of the CF1 with two water bottles? <laughs> I'll rig up a sprayer system. <laughs> One of our favorite uh, squirting tools here. This is a good unit. Hey, squirt the heck out of it, dude. There you go. Doug come in for the final spray. Got both tires done up. Coming to a hard stop, de-weighting the rear end and getting the spin. The brakes are so bad, it's not, you can't do that, unfortunately. Got it. What are you thinking? I mean, the the lube helped big time. You definitely had more wheel speed there, and you made actual smoke that time. So We just need more lube. In the interest of going down there with a setup, that will for sure work. I think we should just get a sprayer system on it. Yep. I don't disagree. Well, the hat's coming off, the helmet's going on. That only can mean one thing. <laughs> we gotta just make sure the second part of this deal is good to go. Pretty confident in it, but we'll just give her a little spin, see what happens. So we added a couple straps here just to, uh, you know, keep the tail from wagging. And uh, uh, send it. See what happens. Yeah, I think this will be just fine. So uh, I think we are also going to get a garden sprayer to mount under here. Anyway, we'll show you that later. For now, let's see a burnout. Well, I think this should be no problem. Just to ensure. Oh yeah, looks good, man. Oh my gosh. thing it like even just idling it wants to go no problem did you see how easy that went no problem it smells so weird burning tires on steel too you smell that it's a weird smell okay yeah okay so this thing's gonna create unlimited wheel speed unlimited wheel speed and unlimited smoke by the looks of it excellent. barely had it going excellent yeah that was probably like 40 mile an hour wheel speed <laughs> 
double that. Double that. <laughs> the tires were expanding too, which was cool. <laughs> <laughs> good. It felt everything felt good, man. So I'm uh, happy with that. Yeah, that's that's super yeah. good. Well, at least one vehicle is gonna blow tires, and I think we'll get it set up so two will blow tires. She just needs a little help off the line. We'll get there. Technology. No problem. Do, 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 do. What the hell's going on in here, brother? We got some real sick mods. <laughs> Rick's currently jamming some wires into the fuse box. We're uh, filling up the burnout lubrication reservoir, and uh, we've done a real nice install of some plumbing to the back of the truck. To, so we uh, poked a hole somewhere through the cab yeah. right here to run the line. The line itself then goes into a T to quarter inch hoses that are going to basically sit here ish and shoot water with a little bit of soap directly at the tire will that help the burnout absolutely definitely definitely so we're going to get this thing wired up turn it on just really understand with how much velocity this thing shoots the water out then we'll finish clipping the tubes down zip tying them in place and we'll have a dedicated burnout rig done deal murphy and his oil and his laws we have a setup. Is it good? Who's to say really? But it works. So Rick, why don't you flip that on? Look at that. Let me check my side to make sure my flow's out good. I feel like it's got a pretty good flow over there. Oh yeah, we're good. Look at that. Uh, yeah. So we got a little bit of soap in the water now, so it's extra slippery. And uh, I mean, we can't do a burn on now. Pull it out, Rick. We suck. I seem to forget about trying hard gosh yeah the last thing you want to try to do is put 1300 pounds over your rear tires and then do a burnout yeah Literally just pushing the front tires still. Yeah, man. Real, uh, real interesting deal. I, I'm wondering if maybe when we get it on a little bit longer straight away, if uh, you know, can just let off the brakes and they'll start burning. If we can, you know, get a turn in there, get it start spinning the tires once you know we get the you know truck whipped. That might be the maneuver. Obviously, we don't have the space here to test that theory so kind of kind of hard to say unfortunately maybe that's why we show up friday to the freedom factory with these burners and then a new set of burners and really just get it dialed hmm. i don't think the freedom factory is the place to get it dialed probably our shop is the place to get it dialed <laughs> all right where are we gonna do a big burnout then rick uh, do we have a spot got a spot i'm thinking of not really gonna disclose it Okay. We just we just got to put our heads together here and figure out what else we can do. Okay. There's got to be something else to make this happen. <laughs> Anything different we can do with the water? Not really. We got soap in it already. More water. I'm not sure is going to be that helpful. 
Is there a way to take weight off the back and put it to the front or add weight to the front? That's about the only thing that we could do. Or set up some sort of air over hydraulic jack system in the back to Basically, lift the back of the truck. Giant caster wheels under the back of the frame. A few minutes later. Well, we just got back from top secret underground test hit level racing burnout something, zone something with uh we learned things i guess it wasn't a complete success it wasn't a complete failure but we know stuff so one of the things we know is when he starts to spin the uh the old locker says nah i'm gonna do this no more so basically gotta pop the cover off the diff well the spiders no big deal we have a solution for that we're still borderline on getting the tires spinning but it will do it with another 200 pounds in the driver's seat not great but all right Load the diff despite it being a 14 bolt with a locker that's not working that's basically an ocker at this point because it's <laughs> not locking so hey, you know what lock the diff <laughs> hey come on it's only funny that you guys do it what, what, what brand is that welder, dude? <laughs> oh yeah, the old Lincoln Locker, dude. The old oh, Lincoln Locker. You guys know about that. Oh lord, it was still fun. I was laughing internally. <laughs> I think a lot of people were laughing. We'll just start screaming that when Doug's got the old Mega under there taking care of business. <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right, we'll drain this oil and get okay. things cleaned up. Well, unfortunate circumstance here. Determined we needed to weld the diff. And this is a G80, aka a Gov Bomb. If anybody's ever heard of that, welding them isn't as easy as an open diff. Basically, just gonna fill her full, huh? Your classic Lincoln locker. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's only gotta hold for a couple minutes. So. <laughs> this it is, a, is what it is. This is an interesting angle. Ground here. Oh yeah. Oof. Oh ground. <laughs> Well, a lot has changed here. I'm working over here, cutting up $6,000 suspension. Uh, Doug and Rick are working over here. Basically, this is uh, almost 24 hours after the last video. A lot of testing and tuning is happening. Turns out, doing a burnout with that much weight on the back still poses some issues. So at this point, we are just throwing every stupid solution that we can think of at this truck. Rear suspension, we've eliminated it, it's gone. Yeah, it's now a uh, rock solid rear suspension. Uh, okay, so that's gonna basically stop the truck from doing this. It, yeah, so. it'll stop it from rolling so much so we think it'll help with the donuts and where it actually seems to help unload the rear end a little bit as well. So when Rick's pumping the brakes and he gets the brakes hard, the rear axle seems to unload a little bit better so we can get those tires spinning. So those are welded in, those aren't going anywhere. And basically right now, last ditch effort, like just to get a freaking burnout done we picked up this 2,000 pound dual wheel trailer jack and it's just getting welded on the back of the truck. So if need be, we can wheel this thing down, take a little weight off the rear axle to help us get the burnout going. And then this will inevitably explode, but it won't <laughs> matter as long as it gets us going. Right, as long as we get the tires spinning. So the big thing is we wanna be able to do this in high gear. In low gear, Rick's already done a burnout, a stationary burnout right there, it happened. But low gear doesn't uh, mean the most tire speed. So we want a high gear burnout, and to do that, there's really not many options left. Yeah, it was on the verge of the high gear burnout, but this is gonna be, I think, part of the equation that gets us to that point. Absolutely. To send these tires 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, worst case, we can always bump this thing into something. You can bump it into a wall or a big tire. We know there's some stuff out there, and it'll do a stationary burnout, no problem. But we want to be able to do burnouts and donuts and kind of use some of the space, you know, because it's a big area. So we want to be able to be mobile in doing doing burnouts at the same time. So one way to do it. Proud of it? No. But is it going to work? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So if you guys know anything about trailering, like we're looking at probably 2,000 pounds total between dry weight and then additional fluids on this thing and Doug and whatever the hell else is back here I mean, over the rear tires. The rack 
is probably 300 pounds worth of steel. So right. yeah, there's a lot of mass on the back of this truck. So we got some new tires on it. Yeah, that's a good point. So, so Mastercraft, thank you Mastercraft for, you know, selling this, uh, selling these to us at MSRP. So we got that going. And we, we uh, needed, yeah, we needed as much rubber as possible. So we can make as much smoke as possible. So I think we're nearing the end of the burnout truck build. Like I don't, I, we've basically run out of ideas. So, this but is, yes. when, when it works, not if it's a, when yep. we're going to be the only machine with this and then that burning at the same time. Yeah. We're coming to win, man. Bottom line, coming you know, to win. drive the floor to the loose. So. <laughs> You're right. Final form. Got this thing all welded up on the back. We're going to pull it outside, do a quick timing check. Mm -hmm. And I think she's ready to load after that. Pull her out, bud. Let's do this. A burnout truck now, boys. Yes! Heck yeah! Yes, dude! Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! Great work Got overall. Got them! Cooling them tires off. Yeah, Woo! Look Listen, that. not that only did that freaking hold up, yep. but we burned them. Wow, that was excellent. He's ready to eat. He's ready to eat. I think your motor's burning. This is DK himself, pro motor builder. Yeah, race <laughs> unit motor builder. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should have threw a dug back there. Must be decent. It's taken a good beating. Isn't that's, it? that's a good point. That's a good point. It's been 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 on trial for a long time. Oh yeah, she's been in a Willie's Jeep. It's been in a no real Willie's piece of delivery. Deli okay, sorry. Uh, Willie's man. facts. I not good. Yeah, We're you're not wrong. Win. We're gonna win. That's it. We're you know win. what you're gonna do? You gotta get some way to get him some fresh air in the cab. Or what I used to do when I do the Bruno contest. Watch the way the wind, the flags are flying. Oh, smart. Get the air going away from the cab and because you're yeah. going to make... It's going to get thick in there. Yeah, it's going to get, get thick in there. there. <laughs> it's, still it's still thick in there. <laughs> Hopefully the, the shit whipping will help with that. Who's to say? Moving around, yeah. That's wow. That's a good idea. Man, I think that's it, right? This is it. Yeah, oh yeah. That's got to be it. Fun. Yeah, so we're going to throw this stuff on the trailer. We're going to go to Florida and we're going to get it done. I no big deal. I, I should have brought my two stickers that I wanted to put on there. Dang oh, it. What were those? TK trailers? Yeah, TK trailers. No. No. All right, anyways. No, moving on. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is it. This is our run at it. We'll see you uh, shortly. I think you're going to be seeing this video Friday. It's uh, midday Wednesday right now. We got to load up and get the heck out of here because it's uh, about 20 hours down to where we're going. So if uh, you're interested in checking this thing out, make sure you visit CletusMcFarland.com and buy the pay-per-view. It's $9.95. It's going to be a great show. There's more than just the burnout contest happening. It's going to be worth every penny. And, you know, please get on there and vote for us. Vote for Burning Right. Burning Right. That's, that's the one. We need you guys to jump in there and, uh, you know, take us to the promised land. So. We'll see you guys uh, there tomorrow, and thank you for everything. As always, we'd never be in a position to do this kind of stuff if it wasn't for you guys. So for everybody who's already subscribed, who watches all the videos, who buys the parts on the parts site, who are donating on Patreon, thank you guys so much. You're absolutely killing it. I can't tell you how much fun we're having, and uh, this is going to be a wild trip. This so. is evidence of the fun. Whew. Yeah, we'll see you back here shortly. <laughs>